thank you very much. And, uh, and again, uh, allow me to, to acknowledge you, Ambassador Shava, uh, because I think you, you framed very well why do we need the decades uh, of science for sustainable development. And, and, and for us at UNESCO, and that's the, the leading uh, UN agency for the decade, we say that it's a 10-year opportunity to really make transformation and use the power of science, unleash science uh, to really transform uh, the way we behave, the way we interact with nature, uh, the way we, we, we talk and live together among ourselves. Uh, and I think this morning, both the example of CERN and the example of Sesame uh, was put in the table, uh, uh, the importance of science to bring peace and justice and, and prosperity to all. Uh, and I think this is what we are talking about uh, on the decade. So this is one uh, of the aims uh, that we want, is that really this is uh, an opportunity to, s to transform uh, the way we, we work, the way we interact with nature, the way we interact with each other, uh, the way uh, we address uh, uh, complexity and uncertainties in this Anthropocene era uh, that we are living, uh, but it's also uh, a, a possibility uh, to really empower each one and all through uh, knowledge, because knowledge empowers people, uh, individuals, communities, countries, uh, societies. And I think this decade is about also to unleash that, that power of science uh, to empower people and societies. And, and, and of course, it's a very ambitious uh, agenda. Uh, science uh, to, to be that central driver of, of deep transformations is not an easy agenda. And I think what we have learned uh, from the International Year of Basic Science that we are going to bring back and feed into what will be the decade, uh, the first one is that we need more science and better science. Uh, science that really is aligned, or at least is side by side, uh, with policy making, with decision making, identifying and anticipating. Because that's also another power of science, is that we can anticipate what is coming in. Uh, and therefore prepare uh, the decision making processes, the political processes, uh, uh, to, 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 to address uh, those those challenges that are coming, but also the opportunities that, uh, that are coming. So more science, better science. Uh, and, 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 and really we were saying that we need uh, science-based uh, policies and decisions. And it's true, we do, uh, but it cannot be ad hoc. It means that we also need to make sure that we can influence the processes of decision making scientifically, that we can really, we're saying, please be with the delegations when we are dif discussing and writing agreements on important aspects uh, of our, our planet, our societies. And that's the point. We have to be there, science has to be there from the first day. But that also means that you have to have a culture of science in our societies. I don't think we do. So part of the decade, it's also how can we inspire young people, uh, children, and older people, policy makers, pol uh, political figures, to really saying, I can understand science, and therefore, when I take decisions, I take decisions based on, on, on scientific uh, um, evidence. Uh, and, and, and again, uh, in the international year, uh, there was an effort and uh, awareness raising also among the scientific community saying we need to study more, we need to do better assessments, we need to, to discover more uh, in relation to the goals and the sustainable targets that we put forward as, as, as humanity. Uh, and so this is something that what we called science for action. So we will need to do more science for action, action on climate, action on, on biodiversity lost, uh, action on conflicts uh, uh, resolution, action on addressing uh, the vulnerabilities that we are seeing in many parts of the, uh, our world related to, to extreme events, uh, action on the economy 
uh, and how to transform the economical systems that we can bring more, more equity. Uh, also, we believe that, uh, that another area, and it was again very much uh, uh, referred in the, uh, in the last panel and during the decade, uh, it's really that we need uh, a science that is more collaborative, more interdisciplinary, transdisciplinary, integrated. The challenge we face are multidimensional. So we, did, we need multidimensional knowledge systems to really, and disciplines to really help us to find uh, solutions towards a more sustainable uh, development. W we also need uh, more collaboration, more transparency, more inclusion, more participation, more co-design, co co-production uh, of science and scientific knowledge across regions and actors. Uh, and, and we have to, to, to face that we have a, a, an unequal uh, science systems and ecosystems. We have countries that don't have the scientific capacity still. Uh, and we need to address those inequalities and those d uh, differences. And how can we use this decade to really strengthen uh, the systems, ecosystems of science, uh, science uh, scientific uh, knowledge across across the continent, uh, the, the world. Uh, we also hope that we can bridge the gaps that we have today. We talked about policymakers mostly on government, on international uh, agreements, but we have also private sector. We have also decision makers in society. How can we bridge that gap between academia, industrial policymakers and society? Uh, and, and, and again, this was something that came uh, strongly also from the international year, and we can build on that. Uh, we also <coughs> saw from the, the, the outlook that we published yesterday uh, that we really need to make uh, science more open, more inclusive, more participation. And there are uh, advancements, and our outlook shows that. But at the same time, it shows the gaps and the, the long way that we have so so hopefully uh, uh, one of the bases of the decade will also be embedding the open science values and principles in whatever activities and programs we do uh, we we do hope also that uh, that uh, that we need uh, uh, engage more political uh, figures and and, and uh, ambassador both ministers here present we do need the high level political commitment for this decade to really function. Uh, and and uh, as, as, as UNESCO, uh, UN agency, uh, in, uh, with science in uh, our mandate, strongly in our mandate, but also all the academic community, the, the ac academies, research institutions, uh, higher education institutions, we need the, the, the political uh, high level commitment and I hope we can count on champions like you to make sure that we can uh, advance. Uh, I, I talked uh, more or less of the pillars and ideas that we have al already been discussed, discussing with partners for the decade uh, that has to do with uh, science for action, uh, you know, bringing this culture, this uh, scientific culture uh, and uh, science literacy in society. Uh, we also need to think about our our systems, our science systems, and how can we make them more transdisciplinary, more transparent, more inclusive. Uh, but we also uh, need more big science programs. Uh, we hope during this decade we will be able to launch three, four global international uh, big science programs that can really maintain the, 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 the global collaboration and the global infrastructure and the important aspect on the open science that is the open infrastructure of science that we can benefit to all. And, and, and finally, we really, really hope that, uh, that we are going to work together. So uh, one of the, 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 the calls, and to conclude, uh, what we are hoping uh, really is that we embark on this international decade of science for sustainable development uh, together, because let's recall that uh, the responsibility rests on everyone's shoulder. UNESCO, as a lead agency, will work tirelessly with all our partners to elevate the status of science, to promote science-based decisions, and transform 
the, the scientific landscape globally. But we cannot do it alone. Uh, we need all of you, member states, scientists, organizations, global science organizations, uh, great, huge science institutions. We need civil society. We need other UN uh, uh, United Nations organizations that work with science. We need priv private sector that is becoming also an important player on, on science. We need all of you to join hands with us in pursuing the decade's goals. Together, let us champion the case of science to ensure that, is, uh, that its transformative power is harnessed for the benefit of humanity and the planet. So please, let's join hands. Let's continue to work together. Uh, and uh, next year, January, let's really start building uh, this movement, this, uh, this incredible opportunity uh, to really change uh, the way we live uh, and to change uh, uh, the way uh, we interact with each other uh, through science. Thank you.